Welcome back. Episode two here, season four of Risky Outdoors. Thanks guys for sharing our last video. We really appreciate it. It's a great way for us to grow our following is when our fans share, share our posts and our videos. Um, we have a pretty exciting episode for you here. Um, pro staff Phil Holton keeps his streak alive. Uh, last year killing 157 inch giant and uh, heading out early season this year with the old Matthews and Man, does he put it to work. So without further ado, here's Phil. <clears throat> Welcome back. It is October the 3rd, my second time in a tree stand for this year. Um, tonight we're on a uh, piece of property that I don't get to hunt <clears throat> very much. usually come out here about twice a year. Uh, it's actually kind of like an island that I'm on uh, with some oaks and surrounded by swamps. So. Hopefully we can get some deer coming up here feeding on these acorns. And uh, looking to put a doe down. Uh, don't have very much shooting lanes, so we'll have to see how it goes. But stay with me. We're out here plenty early. Uh, it's warm, but it's supposed to cool down, so we'll probably get some deer moving later.
kidding me? I'm shaking so bad. I was just sitting here. It's nice, peaceful, quiet. And uh, all of a sudden I look up, and there's a deer. I'm like 12 yards maybe. And I could see some antlers on it, but then I kind of took a step forward. It looked like a nice eight or nine point. It looked like one side had five on it. So, so pumped. Is that like eight, nine yards? This thing came out of nowhere, just feeding on acorns. Oh, I'm so pumped right now. I saw him. He went right over there on the edge of this island into the swamp. And it looked like he laid down. So, I'm just going to sit here and, uh, Try to listen to see if he gets up, but I think he's down right over there. So sit tight and uh, hopefully we can go get him in a minute. Well, I just got down out of the sand. Um, self film hunt. I'm so pumped right now. I uh, just got the BBD text sent out and uh, I'm gonna grab my bow right here and uh, slowly, slowly, it's only been about 30 40 minutes since I shot take up the blood trail so hang on we'll get on them in just a minute well here we go I'm pretty sure my arrow passed right through them but I'm at the spot of impact and no arrow but we'll just take up on the blood trail I already see some blood oh yeah Well, decided to back out. Uh, found the blood for a little bit, got good blood, couldn't find my arrow. Surprised that I just didn't find it right there because it was only about a 10 yard shot, so should have went right through them. But gonna back out, got a uh, pro staff, Brad coming to help me uh, track this deer and hopefully recover it. So, be back in one minute. It's a beautiful night tonight. And, uh, whew. I was so stoked. I still am. It's crazy. First, uh, first buck I ever uh, self-filmed. So, pretty proud of that. But stay with me, and we'll get them, get my hands on them, and here in a couple minutes. All right. Well, we got him. He is a cool-looking nine-point. Uh, happened so quick tonight. Didn't have much pre pre-roll, but thanks for Brad coming out and helping me. And uh, Awesome buck. Earliest I've ever shot a deer, October 3rd. Great deer, Phil. Uh, obviously, you have done your homework. I know on the off season you are playing food plots, hanging stands for different winds. And it was a big focus of the year is not to pressure certain deer at certain times of the year and just hunt some different locations. And obviously, it pays off for you this time. Uh, safe bat hunting over acorns early season. Crazy that you kill the deer of that caliber um, that early in the season in daylight. Just great job, buddy. Um, we have some more exciting episodes coming up for you guys. David Oakley makes his debut here on Risky Outdoors, and this guy comes in swinging. He uh, has been after this deer for some time, and he makes it happen. And what unfolds in front of the camera is pretty cool. So watch out for that episode. We hope to drop it next week. Um, we want to thank all of our partners for your guys' continual support. Without you guys, this one wouldn't be possible. Also, uh, big thanks to all of our followers. You guys, uh, for sharing our videos. It's one of the biggest ways for us to kind of grow, and, and we appreciate it. I know we have people now all across the country that chime in on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Um, we, we just really appreciate it. So... Continue, guys, get out there in the woods, um, do some fur harvesting in the state of Michigan because I know your guys' deer season's over and hopefully it was a successful one. Um, but, yeah, continue to watch. We have some pretty exciting episodes uh, for you coming up. And as always, we want to thank you guys for watching Risky Outdoors. Mm -hmm.